Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna do our daily TA as usual because Bitcoin yesterday had this nice little pump here towards the resistance of 9300. My target is reached so far because as you know I had a little long opened here over on Bityard and I have closed my position now. Yesterday we came up to $9,300 and this was also my main target of this little long that I opened because if we go here into the daily time frame you can see that currently we touched here the 20 daily moving average and as expected this moving average currently is acting as a resistance and we're getting also daily closes below and also we're trading even now below the 20 daily moving average and I'm expecting another little dump here towards our possible bearish target here of around $8,700 which would be the first step of this potential bigger dump that could potentially happen not yet guaranteed but it looks like that we could be in here for another leg down but let's start in the lower time frame so let's start here in the one hour time frame because currently we had this potential rising wedge here this little one within this bigger falling wedge that we are still in currently which in theory is a bullish pattern this big one here that could break out to the upside and take us again towards $10,500 but since I'm expecting here another leg down I closed my long now and I'm waiting here to open up a new position I potentially not gonna open up a short here because as I told you shorting currently it's very risky I prefer to always long Bitcoin and not short it but of course if you want to trade it over on a Bybit or Bityard for example then of course uh, right now I think would be a good opportunity to start to think about a short position at least to write it down towards here below uh, $9,000 in case that we're gonna create a lower low so if we're gonna take out this 8830 I'm expecting also to reach here this potential target of around 8700 to 8600 dollar here in the one hour you can see that currently we are trapped between the 20 moving average and also the 50 and 200 so I'm expecting here a potential breakout to the downside so if we're gonna lose here this 9170 support we should see the breakout here to the downside and of course we also should have a look on the volume because currently we still are trading with low volume but I'm expecting to see if we're gonna see a bigger uh, breakout here to the downside towards $8,700 potentially also $8,600 maybe there we're gonna have a little bit of more volume and then we have to see if we're gonna bounce from it or not potentially yes but this is what we have to see in case of a breakdown here we have the RSI currently now losing the 50 level and stochastic oversold so here in the stochastic we could see a potential also push through here the 20 moving average at 9200 and potentially retest 9340 but since now the RSI is trading below the 50 I think uh, most likely we will take down here the RSI to oversold condition and see also this possible dump towards here this level as I told you before and if we're gonna have a look on the Bollinger Band here you see that currently we are shooting it to the downside we retrace back down here to the middle line here so I also think that most likely we are going to overshoot the Bollinger Band to the downside here pretty soon. Make this also shifted to the downside. And if we go over to the 4 hour time frame here you can see that currently we are getting saved from the 20 moving average in the 4 hour. But as soon as we're gonna close a 4 hour candle below 9170. So below the 20 moving average which is also coinciding here with our main support. I think then we're gonna see here a little sell off towards those targets. Although the RSI is right at the 50, stochastic is coming down into neutral condition. So if we're not going to see a big bounce here to the upside and retest and possibly also break 9340, then I think we could see here a potential move to the downside and we could see the price again below $9,000 pretty soon especially here if we're not gonna bounce from the 50 level in the RSI so if also here in the four hour like in the one hour time frame we're gonna lose the 50 level in the RSI then we should have the confirmation that we're gonna see here a potential dump towards $8,600 and if we switch over to the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour here as well you can see that we're testing the middle line here currently we got supported here at 9170 but also here I think in the next couple of hours we're gonna have 
a possible close below 9170 and then we're gonna see a potential break down towards the bottom here which is also at around 9k but i think if we're going that low most likely we're also gonna reach this uh, um, 8,600 to 8,700 dollar level. If not, so if we're gonna bounce at 9k, then that would mean that we're gonna create a higher high. So we're not gonna take out this low that we had here at 8,830. And in that case, we could be in here for a potential move again towards the resistance of this uh, bigger falling wedge that we are creating currently. And we could see a potential breakout here to the upside if we're starting to create higher lows here. And if we're gonna have a look on the MACD, you can see that in case that we're gonna have this close below 9170, we also could have here a bearish cross. Currently, we didn't have this bearish cross, so that's why I'm telling you, maybe wait a couple of more hours. If we're gonna have here a bearish cross in the MACD in the four hour, and also gonna close a four hour candle below 9170, we could be in here for a move towards 9K and lower. And there we're gonna have to see if we're gonna take out this low here at 8830 or not. And now let's go over to the daily time frame because here it looks now a bit more bearish here we are trading below the 20 daily moving average as i told you before we have now this moving average as a resistance so as long as we are not able to close daily candles above this 20 moving average so above 9300 dollar we are shifted to the downside and we will stay in this potential falling wedge here for more days or weeks RSI is also now below the 50 so we are possibly getting rejected here again stochastic is in neutral condition so I'm expecting here still a potential little uh, sell-off towards those targets here like we also had here in the past when we were trading below the 20 daily moving average and now let's have a look also on the Bollinger Band in the daily because here we are still trading in the lower part even though we currently are trading between the two middle lines here between 9170 and 9330 so it's really depending where we're gonna close daily candles above 9300 or below 9170 because this will decide if we are shifted again to the downside towards 9000 lower or are we able to start to build up support again above 9300 potentially also above 9500 would be even better because in that case i think we could be in here for another retest of the main resistance towards 10500 dollar and potentially also break it because i'm still very bullish for the long term for bitcoin and after the halvening i'm expecting anytime soon a breakout from this main resistance at around 10500 dollar so even though i'm also prepared for a possible dump i'm still expecting that at any time soon maybe in a few weeks or months we're gonna see this breakout and then start to test again the highs that we had at around 20,000 also 18 16,000 this is gonna be very very important because since the all-time high we never tested again uh, 16 18 and 20 thousand dollar we only came up to 14,000 and that's why I think most likely as soon as we're gonna break this ten thousand five hundred dollar we're gonna see the tests of those price levels again macd is coming down here as you can see so i think as soon as here we're gonna have a bullish close so a daily close above nine thousand three hundred dollar and also here a shift in the macd so as soon as we're gonna have a bullish cross here i think we could be in for a massive move up here and let's open up also the weekly time frame because here I'm still very bullish. We are still trading above the 20 weekly and 50 weekly moving average. This week it looks like that the 20 weekly moving average is coming above the 50, which is a very bullish sign. Stochastic is still overbought, that is a bit concerning, but the RSI is a slight above the 50 level. So this is still very bullish. And for the long term, as I told you, we are still on our way towards new all time highs. So we are still at the beginning of a potential big bull market, even though our retracement at least down here to 8700 where the 20 weekly is and also is coinciding with our support line here down at this potential falling wedge that we are in currently so we could see this potential drop here but also even if we would go down here towards the 0.618 fib line based on the move that we had since march i still think we are on our way and the retracement back to the 
0.618 fib line is still in the cards would be also very healthy but you know as bitcoin is it can do whatever it wants so if it's deciding to break now ten thousand five hundred dollar we will never see again those prices down below for sure and now let's have a last look also on the bollinger band because here we are still trading right at the first middle line so i still think if we're getting rejected here again we could see maybe a short-lived dump towards eight thousand two hundred dollar where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and also potentially some wicks below so towards six thousand five hundred or seven thousand dollar which is very likely to come especially if you're gonna see this sell-off that i still think could happen but it's of course not guaranteed and latest after this potential dump that I think could happen after we're gonna bottom somewhere down here we're gonna have the decisive move to the upside to then also break this $10,500 and start to create new all-time highs very soon. MACD is also shifted to the upside. Let's hope that here we're not gonna create a bearish cross, otherwise we could see here a really bigger sell-off and potentially also stay a couple of weeks below $8,000 before we're gonna recover back up. But as I told you, the positive thing is that then you will be able to buy also some more cheaper Bitcoins. So there is always a positive and negative thing on every move that Bitcoin is doing. So you just have to prepare for both scenarios so you can act anywhere the price is going. So with that said guys, I wanna wrap it up for now. Don't forget, we have this weekly $10 Bitcoin giveaway that is still running and we're gonna do the winner selection video probably tomorrow or on Saturday. So if you're not already participating on this giveaway, you can do it in the video that is popping up at the end of this video. So don't forget to participate to that Bitcoin giveaway. And of course, also leave a like here, comment here, anything you want and subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the bit bitcoin giveaway that we do with every 500 subscribers i also have a discord trading chat so if you have discord please feel free to join our free discord trading chat the community is great there and everyone is a welcome and if you have twitch i have also some live streams over on twitch so when something crazy is going on i always go over live on twitch so make sure also to join those channels. And if you need any kind of trading account, for example, the one on Bybit, Femex or Bityard, you find all the links to sign up down below here in the video description. With my links, you support the channel. And of course, you can get some sign up bonuses, especially these three here for Bybit. You can get currently $90 on Femex. You can get $72 and on Bityard, you can get up to $258 depending how much you're trading trading over there because always to get these full bonuses you have always to put some deposits or do some tradings and do some stuff but at the end you can get this for free and you can start to trade with that money completely riskless all right guys so thank you very much for watching and we see us all in the next one bye